Hi, my name is Sabrina Pena Young, and I'm an intermediate composer and a big sci fi lover, in case you can't tell. When I was a kid, like any little girl, I wanted to be a famous rock drummer when I grew up. But when I went to college, I traded in my drumsticks for a computer and decided to study music technology, study film, study video. I really enjoy taking classical music and mashing it with music technology and creating new kinds of work that have never been done before. So, a few years ago, I decided I wanted to make an epic opera. A really epic opera. A sci-fi opera with explosions and pyrotechnics and all the craziness that a modern day opera would have. This was gonna be epic. However, there was a problem. I didn't have an opera company. I didn't have any music. Didn't have any money, didn't have any musicians. All I had were the ever in motion ideas in my brain, that's my brain, and my computer. So I decided to go online and create an epic opera for the digital generations of today using internet collaboration. So the great thing about technology is that all you need is technology and talent and passion, and you can create great things. And that's how I created Libertaria, the virtual opera. <laughs> After a thousand takes and three years of music production and zero rehearsals later, we created Libertaria the Virtual Opera, an epic animated opera that could be enjoyed by anyone online for free, created entirely through internet collaboration. Now, the cool thing about Libertaria the Virtual Opera is that anybody can enjoy it. You don't have to get fancy tickets, you don't have to do anything to go ahead and enjoy this. You don't even have to go to a concert hall, it's for everyone. Libertaria the Virtual Opera tells the story of a teen girl named Libertaria who escapes from a genetics factory, teams up with her addict father, wants to me. and then decides to beat up on a bunch of geneticists with a cyborg army. Now, there were a lot of challenges with Libertaria the Virtual Opera. All was not peaches and Ewoks. Okay, so what we ended up doing was, you know, with a digital production, there's a lot of, there's a lot of challenges. Um, so one of the things we needed first, of course, were singers. I didn't have any singers. So what I decided to do was I went online and I set up virtual auditions. Now, a virtual audition was pretty easy. I set out a post, said, hey, who wants to sing in my opera film? And then interested singers went and sent in their recordings of their voices. Those that were selected, and we had people auditioning from North America, South America, and even Europe, those that were interested in auditioning and then were selected would then record themselves on location and send those those recordings to me via the cloud. And then we mix all these crazy audio files into a massive soundtrack. Now the other thing we needed were animators because imagination and animation go great together, especially when you're thinking epic. So what I did was I decided to go ahead and go online and I found some animation forums. And these animation forums had all these people that were just dying to get involved in a project like this. The third thing was all these recordings. We ended up with over 1,000 vocal recordings, each of which I personally edited and mixed down. And then when the deadline loomed and it looked like we weren't gonna make it, we decided to do a crowdfunding campaign online once again, and we were able to hire an additional composer to help finish mastering the track. In the end, we had an awesome animated opera that anybody can enjoy for free. This is an opera that changes the way that we think about opera, where we dress up and we buy expensive tickets and sit down very quietly and make sure we don't clap between movements. That's bad, okay? With Libertaria the Virtual Opera, you could sit down at home and watch it in your pajamas. Libertaria is the opera that you could watch with your bunny slippers on. <laughs> so, <laughs> now I also wanted to open source the opera. So what I did was, I wrote a, a little blog post to all those evil pirates out there and said, please steal my film. And ARG, they did. It's all over the place. Everybody loves it. I don't know who they are, but they like it. They steal it. 
Now, one of the reasons that we were able to do this is because our animation style that we chose was called machinima. Now, for those familiar with animation, you might have heard of machinima before. Machinima is a lot different than traditional animation, where you draw each frame, frame by frame by frame. And it takes oof, tens of thousands, millions of frames sometimes to make something. Or even computer animation that we often see with films today, where you essentially need an entire warehouse full of CPUs in order to go ahead and process these really complicated graphics. If you can't notice, I'm not really a major motion picture kind of person. It's me and two other people. So we decided to go with machinima. The great thing about machinima is that in machinima, you kind of have this video game environment. You design a scene, you drop your characters in there, and you just tell them what to do. You say, hey, run, jump, sing while dying dastardly. Um, and so that's what you do with machinima. It's really, really easy to use. It's really inexpensive. In fact, it's so easy that even my four-year-old daughter was able to sit next to me and help me design which, you know, buildings to blow up and stuff. Four-year-olds like that kind of stuff. Anyway, and the other great thing about it, it's really, really, really inexpensive. In fact, we were able to do a feature-length animated opera for, with only three people for less than $1,000, which, I mean, that's really, really amazing. The great thing about machinima is you have an unlimited number of costumes, you have unlimited number of characters. So if your opera or your production or your film needs like 200 people, all you have to do is uh, just keep clicking and they all show up. It's kind of neat. Another thing you can do is you can have an unlimited number of scenes. It could be in outer space or like for us, we had Evil Genetics Factory. One of my animators created this really complicated underground world. Um, and it's really easy to blow things up. Not that I like to blow things up, but it was really easy to do it. Oh, also, you have an unlimited number of evil reverse aging singing geneticists. That's super exciting. Opera is meant to be epic. It's always been an epic way to tell the tale of our time, way before film. In fact, it was a way for the underlings to make fun of our evil overlords in a great, fun way, maybe with a tad little bit too much vibrato. Oops. Opera is meant for everyone. I wanted to make an opera that you could enjoy, whether you live in Africa or live in the United States, whether you can afford concert tickets or can't afford concert tickets, whether you have a smartphone or you have a laptop. I wanted everybody to be able to enjoy opera because opera is such a great form of art. And with Libertaria, you can enjoy it with a smartphone on the big screen, the little screen, you can listen to it on earbuds. And what's the great thing about Libertaria is that the audience can interact with it in the way that they want to. Have a favorite song, you can listen to it over and over and over and over and over again. You have a song that you really like, you can share it through social media. You don't like it, just let me know through the comments. I know. Okay? So, and you can even steal it and mash it yourself and re-upload it somewhere else and just make something new. I mean, that's the great thing about digital technology, right? You can just take something and you can remix it and make it your own. And finally, collaboration is very cool, obviously, by these guys. Okay, internet collaboration is the key, I think, today to classical music succeeding. With opera company after opera company folding and big classical music organizations struggling so much, generations of kids don't even have a chance to explore classical music or the arts in school anymore. But the great thing about collaboration is that there are literally millions of artists out there that want to create something great with someone else. And you don't have to live in the same continent. You don't have to live in the same country. You don't have to have a lot of money or a lot of power. All you need is that technology and passion and that talent. Libertaria the Virtual Opera is about the future of our world and our society, but it's also about the future of opera, the future of the arts. It's a new and exciting way to take a handful of people with dedication and passion and to create a brand new grand work of art, an opera. And you know, it could be an opera, it could be a film, it could be a video game, it could be anything that your mind can come up with, anything that you can imagine. But it's gonna take engineers, it's gonna take video game developers, and artists and designers, musicians, all kinds of people, all these creative people for the next big idea in art. And who knows, maybe the next Wagner or the next Mozart or the next Shields, it could be one of you. So these are some of the people that went ahead and helped make the opera. And I don't know, there's supposed to be one more clip. Want some ink? What do you think? I'm just having a drink. A sweet, a taste of my Down the throat, down the throat, into the soul. Down, 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 down,
Thank you.